Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome back to the official Hussein family. Welcome to another vlog. It has been some time that I have actually put out a vlog for you guys. I am super excited to actually get into this video and explain what is going on, where we have been, and what I am doing different this time around. I am actually going to start off by saying that if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We are the official Hussein family and on Facebook we are House of Hussein. So go ahead and, you know, just follow us on our social media and let's get into this video. So this video is actually going to be all in English. The reason I'm doing this video in English and the future videos that will be coming out in English is that way you guys can understand what is going on and I will be traveling so that way I can explain things to you much more easily in English and since it is a universal language um, everyone will be able to understand me versus me speaking in my mother language which is very niche specific and I will probably you know throw in a few phrases here and there and you might hear me throughout the video once in a while speak in my mother tongue but mostly I will try to keep these videos in English. Since you guys have already figured out that I will be traveling and this is a first video of our travel series, I wanted to introduce to you guys and let you guys know that our whole family is going to Bangladesh and Bangladesh is where we are originally from and I am really excited to take our kids over there with my husband and we are really planning on a lot of things to do there and see there and teach our kids about the local culture and teach them the background of where they are originally from. So today we actually just came out to do some shopping. Um, we have a few things in mind that we want to get for our family and some friends. Um, so right now we are just basically starting off with family shopping first, like family as in like buying some gift items and stuff like that. But before we get into all of that, this video is going to be a little bit long, I'm just warning you ahead, and this is a compilation of a couple of days of footage together, so don't freak out when you see that this video is a little bit over 20 to 30 minutes long. That is because I have several days all compiled into this one video. So before we even go shopping, we actually have to eat. Um, we are here at this one new restaurant that is here in Dallas. Um, it's called Son of Butchers and they sell sliders. And we actually wanted to try the sliders because we didn't want anything like a huge lunch. We just wanted a uh, very light lunch and we wanted to try this place out. We ordered some Wagyu beef burgers as well as some buffalo chicken uh, sliders. There was a brisket slider that we ordered. There is a chicken pimento slider which is really really tasty. We actually enjoyed that one and then also their loaded fries was pretty good. So if you guys are here in Dallas or if you're in a layover definitely stop by. It's called Son of Butchers and I think you guys will really like it. We were just sitting outside. Their atmosphere is really nice. They've got this like um, seating area which uh, a lot of tables with like the fake grass and umbrellas as you can see behind me. Um, so yeah, give it a shot if you guys are in the area. It's called Son of Butchers. After lunch, we actually headed off to the shopping center and I did have something that I wanted to exchange. So I did bring that with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and exchange that. Um, we were looking for some items for ourselves as well, as well as, like I said, we were gonna get some gifts for some of our family members. And so we were just uh, browsing and shopping around trying to see what we wanted to get for who. And it's really a hectic process, especially when I have to pack so many bags. It's just gonna be really crazy and I really don't even know how I'm gonna manage, but we're gonna figure something out. Since today was a Monday and the mall is pretty much empty, we decided to take our time and just browse around. We did come by over the weekend and you guys know that the malls are very packed over the weekend. There's just so many people here. So we like shopping when there's not such a huge crowd and we can take our time and go through like the stores and you know, just browse and 
it's just really fun to have that open space versus everybody bumping into each other and it's just a chaotic scene in the mall. I took my daughter into Victoria's Secrets and we were just testing out some of the perfume and body sprays and my daughter actually liked the Bombshell Isles, I believe that's the one. It's the very light blue um, perfume bottle and we were just testing out all the bombshells because we love the bombshells. They're just so fragrant and delicious smelling. And um, I was just giving her the tester, you know, just try it out, spraying it on her. But oops, I accidentally kind of sprayed it in her face. Um, but she's okay. She's a good sport. So um, she really liked this one. And when I was looking at, like, if I could find a body spray for her or body mist, um, I was asking the sales lady to help me. So the sales lady helped me find a body mist for her because, you know, she's seven. She doesn't need the full-on perfume and all that. And it was a little bit expensive, so I don't think she needs to be spraying all over her room and all her stuffed animals with the actual perfume. And it's easier on my wallet if she just uses the body spray. So we were actually done shopping for the day and we were already very tired because walking around in the mall is not our forte. Um, it takes a lot of work and the kids actually had school this morning so they are already a little bit exhausted so we are just calling it a day today. We're heading home. And we actually do have a few weeks before our trip so we don't want to do everything in one day and overwhelm ourselves so we're going to take it slowly. So today actually is a new day and I just woke up and had uh, my breakfast and also, you know, got the kids ready for school and everything. And then a package came in the mail and today's package actually had this really interesting tool and this tool actually makes holes in leather. And I did not know that this tool existed. I usually would always find someone who could punch holes in leather and they would be a little bit costly, but I was really surprised that, you know, I found this online and I went ahead and ordered it. And the reason I did that is because I purchased a little backpack for Ilana to take on our trip. And what I'm doing is punching little holes in the straps the holes that are already on there are more of an adult size, so I wanted to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so it fits snugly to her back. It just, um, it doesn't hang loose because if I just kept it on the original last hole, the bag was kind of just hanging and it just didn't look appealing on her. It just didn't fit her correctly and um, she's a very thin uh, child, so the straps are not wide that they stay on her shoulders they actually just kind of slip off so that's what I'm doing I'm just making some holes in it for her that way I can just um, feed it through the little buckle and make sure that this backpack is fitting for her
So today I was also packing my bags. Um, as you can see, like behind me, my suitcases are out there. I also took out Ilana's suitcase so we can go ahead and start packing a little bit. I just didn't want to overwhelm myself like two days before or the night before we're about to fly out. So what I was doing is basically taking whatever we shopped and also just putting together outfits and what I wanted to take and what I was going to pack for the kids. Um, I haven't completely finished everything yet. I've just only done a little bit at a time and my kids are actually taking like exams this week so I have like a ton on my plate so I have to kind of like focus a little bit at a time. I will go and make a video that's more in depth of what I have inside of my suitcase and also if you guys want to see what's inside of the kids suitcases uh, leave a comment below let me know and I would be more than happy to share what I am taking and just to show you guys um, what I pack for an international trip. We are also wearing some sneakers because the traveling and walking is going to be a little bit tough on us. It's a lot of walking and I decided to get some sneakers that actually have some cushion to them and it actually will help my foot because I already have heel pain and with plantar fascia and I need that arc support for my heel. I need that support so I got shoes that uh, would help me with that as well. And then also for just walking around in the airport, I feel like tennis shoes are the best way to go. Um, if you are doing short flights, you can do sandals. They're easy to slip on and off. Um, we did get shoes without laces for the kids, so it would just be very easy if we go through TSA, we can just take them off and not have to worry about tying shoelaces and holding up the line. So today actually is another day and we are going to Dallas. Um, we actually live a little bit outside of the city and it takes us about 30 minutes or so to go into Dallas um, if there's traffic about 45 minutes to an hour. So I reached the office of my heart doctor and I'm just checking in and basically for those of you that have uh, not been following me or do not know, I actually had a heart attack three years ago right when COVID started and it was just a really terrible scary experience for me and since then I have actually changed a lot of things in my lifestyle as far as like diet and I've been on medication like every single day for three years and I'm continuously taking um, my medication so I do have to come to the heart doctor every six months now for an EKG and then we go over like what has been going on any stressors in my life I'm um, just you know going over my health and all that so after I got done um, at the heart doctor, we decided we were all hungry and we decided just to head over to Cheddar's and have a quick lunch. We haven't been to Cheddar's in a very, very, very long time. I think it's been several years and we actually just enjoyed it very much because we used to love eating at Cheddar's when the kids were younger. It was just a perfect combination for all of us. Had a little bit of everything. After lunch, we actually went into Sam's Club. So Sam's Club, we had a few things that I wanted to take for our kids while we're traveling, especially like snack items, like cookies, and they come in individual packs, which is perfect. Um, I remember last time when we went uh, traveling uh, several years back, the cookies uh, like Oreos or Chips Ahoy or anything like that, those kind of things overseas were quite expensive and that's why I decided we're just going to hop into Sam's Club and pick up some of those 
snacks for the kids, and also we wanted to pick up some items to give as gifts for our friends and family from Sam's Club. It was just a better deal here. We can get stuff in bulk and didn't have to go around to all the stores because we just didn't have the patience to walk around multitude of stores just to find some gift items. After we were done at Sam's Club, we actually hopped over to Walmart, which was right next door, which made our life so much easier. And from Walmart, we had to get a bunch of little knickknacks, obviously some medication that were not available at Sam's Club. And also we had to get Icy Hot and Vicks. That was just like a thing. We were just cracking up because when we went to the register, it was just absolutely funny that we have so many like Vix and Bengay and Icy Hot. It's just a common thing for us to pick out when we go to our country because that's all they want is Vix, Icy Hot, and Bengay. So we were done with Walmart and today is actually another day and I am just gonna show you guys some of the stuff that we picked out from Walmart and also we will be running into Target because we do have some essential carry-on items that we need to take so I will show you those things later on in this video just some of the stuff that we picked out I will go into more detailed carry-on video later on where I show you all the things that I am actually taking in my carry-on but today I'm just gonna show you just a general idea of what I am taking um, in our suitcases as far as like cosmetic wise, I am not taking a ton of cosmetics. Before I used to pack so much cosmetics, which I didn't even use, not even like 5% when I was overseas. And this time around, I was like, no, I'm not gonna make that silly mistake again. I don't need like, I don't know why I would need five hair shampoos and three containers of foundation. I mean, it's totally unnecessary and it just, it's a waste. So I'm not going to do that. I went ahead and got one of these like smart baggies that have compartments in it. This one is pretty huge and this particular one I can fit all the stuff that I need and I will show you guys once I've packed it. I did pick up two of these bags and one of them comes with a clear carry-on TSA approved bag so I'm going to put those inside the little one that I'm going to carry on and then the rest of the stuff will all go through our luggage. So here's a glimpse of some of the toiletry items that we picked out. I didn't take any full-size items for us, like full-size lotions or anything like that. The only full-size items that we took were for shampoos and conditioners, those types of things. But as far as um, toothpaste and like other cosmetics, like lotions, we didn't take like full-size ones for our family, only just for the ones that we were going to give as gifts. Because I remember last time when we were traveling overseas, we were actually just using our travel size items. They were very convenient to just throw in our bag and then we can just be mobile with them. We can go to different places with them and we didn't have to worry about packing like the big huge bottles. One of the things that I recommend any parent or anybody, even if you're not a parent, to take with you if you're traveling internationally is some Pepto. We picked out the Pepto diarrhea because, you know, obviously when we go somewhere new and you try some different foods, you will get diarrhea. And I do have to mention this. I know this is very funny and it's just, it's just crazy, but I am mentioning this because I remember like last time when we went, we actually, um, well, I didn't, but my family did. I'm just putting them in the spot. They did get diarrhea and the kids did um, 
have really bad tummy uh, problems. So they were just having trouble adjusting to the food. So we did pack um, Pepto and we ran out. So we had to actually find someone who was traveling from the US overseas and we had to have it shipped from the US all the way to where we were staying. Keep in mind that you pack, you know, the essential things that you might need. I know sometimes we don't remember these things and I hope this video kind of gives you an idea of what I'm packing. And like I said, this time around, I am not taking anything that is totally not necessary that I cannot find overseas. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is over there, but I just don't wanna go into a situation where I am having to, you know, give my kids a different type of medication for any stomach uh, issues, um, anything like that. So it's better to keep it safe and what they're used to versus um, me trying a new medication for them. I'm pretty sure it works for everybody over there. That's amazing, but just for my peace of mind and my safety, I know what kind of medication I'm giving them. So all of their medication, my medication, and everything that I can um, take as far as medicine wise, that I am packing. So make sure you guys do as well. Definitely take some Tylenol or Advil for your flight in case you do get a headache. As I was packing our toiletry bags, I realized that we were short on certain items. That's why we were heading over to Super Target and we love their toiletry section, their travel section. It is amazing, but for some reason, um, the day that I went they were kind of short on some of the items that I was actually looking for but whatever I found 